Keeping up to date with all of the changes which Instagram make to improve their app can be a real challenge sometimes. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the main changes which they've made this year. There's a new caption sticker which you can use in Stories and Reels and it enables you to turn words into text. So it's really useful if people are watching your videos but they put the sound off or for people who have hearing difficulties and I'll show you how you add it. So I'm just going to create a story, add a video which I recorded earlier I've just turned the sound off it for the moment, but I'm going to tap on the sticker icon at the top and then tap on captions. And there you'll see it's transcribing the audio. And you can see at the bottom there, you've got a choice of different fonts. So I'll just choose the next one over so you can see. And the next one. and the next one. So you can see they're different typefaces and they have different ways of showing the text on the screen. So I'm gonna go back to the first one and you can move and, sh and actually change the size of your text. So I'm just gonna move it up here and put it on a slant and make it a little bit smaller. And if you want to, you can also change the colour of your text, but I'm going to leave it on white. Okay. Let's move on now to Reels. When they were first launched in August 2020, they had a 15 second time limit. And this was shortly doubled to 30 seconds. And then more recently, it's now been increased to 60 seconds. So each Reel can either be 15, 30 or 60 seconds. Let's have a look now at the new collab feature, which Instagram's testing and it's available currently in the UK and India, and you can use it on reels and posts on your grid. And the whole idea is to make it easier for creators to collaborate on Instagram. So you'll see an example on my grid recently this is a post on the far left with Joanne Truby. And you'll see at the top of the screen, I've got my username and Joanne's username. So what I did was when I was creating this post, I invited her to be a collaborator and then she accepted that invitation. So now if I tap on her username at the top of the screen, it will take you over to her Instagram account and there you can see that she's got the same post on her account. Another new feature which Instagram has added is a recently deleted folder. So say for example, you delete a post by mistake and you want to retrieve it, you simply go to the hamburger icon in the top right hand corner, then you tap on settings, go down to the towards the bottom where you've got account, and then right at the bottom, you've got recently deleted. And there you can see things that you've deleted recently. These happen to be a couple of stories. And you can see that it says that after 24 days, they'll actually be deleted. Let's talk now about going live. So in the past, you could only go live with one other person on a live stream, but now Instagram have enabled it so that you can go live with up to three people and you just tap on the plus in the top right hand corner, tap on live, and then you can go live and add the other people. Let's look now at the new audio tab. And here you can search for reels by song. So say for example, I wanted to find some reels that have been actually created using a song about autumn. I could type in autumn here and say it was this song, the one at the top, Early Autumn by Ella Fitzgerald. I'm gonna tap on there. And then what you'll see is reels which have used that song. 
You can then either just save the audio to use later or if you tap at the bottom on use audio to create a reel right away. Another recent update is your professional dashboard. If you can't see this immediately on your account, you may be able to access it by pressing your finger on the screen and then moving it downwards. And there's my professional dashboard. And then I can go in and look at my insights really quickly. And then if you scroll down, you've got other options there for grow your business and then additional resources. So I hope you've enjoyed this look through some of the changes which Instagram have been making over the last few months. If you'd like to find out more social media tips and photography and also blogging, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next week.